Good morning, YouTubers. We got some pretty exciting stuff going on. Um, actually, at a campground in Nashville, Tennessee, down on uh, Music Valley Row, right, uh, you know, real close to Opry Land Hotel, the Grand Old Opry. Anyway, we got some uh, upgrades coming to our camper, and uh, be working on the next few days, probably few weeks, from uh, uh, looking at the Wi-Fi e extender get us some 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 better uh, uh, Wi-Fi signal coming into the camper we'll be talking about that uh, upgrade the system for the battery monitor that uh, BMV-712 smart Bluetooth capable Victron energy the three-stage uh, converter made by power max but uh, we'll be doing some videos on on this and, and keeping you posted how everything works out but uh anyway new things coming our way coming your way so just stay tuned okay friends so this afternoon we're going to install this new power max power max converter into this camper and uh, what we need to do first is go ahead and cut the power the 110 and also the DC power so we're going to cut the AC and the DC power and get this thing installed that will help uh, better manage our batteries okay pretty tight quarters here trying to work on this to be able to show you how this comes apart we're going to take this screw out right here for this cover. And get the cover out of the way. There's the screws that hold this in. We see these wires, this is your neutral, these are your uh, AC wires, 110 wires, and they run up here, let's see, we're going to take this one loose. And then your white wire is right up here. And we're gonna have to untape this. To get to the ground. So what we're going to do is cut this wire loose off of this. Like 
gets the wires out. Let's temporarily put this back together. Okay, now your battery wires, what are they? White and red. And where we're seeing those, this one is this white one, this red one is this red one. So let me grab a flat tip screwdriver to, to take those out. Okay, I need to show you something because I'm not going to put another plug in here anywhere. I'm going to cut this plug off and where that black tie is through the eye of that plug, that is your black wire inside of this cord. And when I cut this cord to bring it inside here to plug in to this black, we'll know where the neutral is at, but I will have a multimeter and I will check, make sure I've got the right connections going in the right place. Okay. Okay, we are in luck. The cord that they did use is already color coded, so we know where the white the black and the green needs to go. I cut these cords off of the other converter. And uh, what we're going to do now is solder the tips so they're solid like what was already on there. So when you tighten those lugs down, it just doesn't smash the wires. It can get a good solid bite on it. This is a 6040 rosin core leaded solder is what I like to use. And also what I like to do is go ahead and dip the ends, get some of that flux already on there. Let's do that again. I think I'm going to do this white one one more time. And as you can tell, some of that flux is following off. Uh, well, not only the flux, I see some of the solder as well and it would burn holes in this linoleum and I want to protect the linoleum. I don't want a bunch of burn marks in it. Let me do those big wires next. Now I expect these wires to be a little more difficult, bigger in size. Once again, I'm at an awkward position trying to show you how to do this in such a confined area.
that ought to be good. Okay, with that you can see the it shows on there the positive is red, the negative is white, and what we're going to do is lace those out back through the holes and then put that in place. Okay, we have it all back together, getting ready to put the cover back on. Let's see. Everything is turned off, I believe. So let's t take and turn on the power supply here and um, see if we can fire something up to see if it turns on. Well, it looks like everything is operating properly. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put this cover back on it and finish up this job. And that's a wrap. So we just finished installing this, this PowerMax uh, AC to DC converter charger. I actually have the 75 amp. My thoughts for doing a 75 amp, if I upgrade and add more batteries and end up needing a rapid charge uh, with that. It's, it's a three-stage charger, but you need to look at your direction. Whatever one that you get, look at the directions. And I found that it, um, it says adjust fixed voltage. And then the unit is on the three-stage charging most, mode firstly. Uh, could have been written better, but anyway, read the directions because it talks about 14.6 volts, 13.6 volts, and then 13.2 volts, but it's totally adjustable. So if you don't want it to be at 14.6, I actually adjusted this down to 14.2. We do have the battery monitor, and I'm going to show a picture of that complete install inside the battery box on this video. I don't believe when we did the Victron Energy battery monitor, monitor video that I had shown the final installation on that, but you can catch that here to see what it looks like because I had to go in the battery box, unplug, unplug. I disconnected the battery from the 12 volt system as well as unplugged it from the 110 source here at the campground to do this install. Certainly I needed a light, so I had a light overhead, but I ran an extension cord through one of the, the compartment doors so I could have enough light to do the video. Enjoy the video. Certainly uh, like, share, subscribe. Love to have you as a subscriber to keep track of what we're doing uh, with the Reedy Chronicles. I'm covering a lot of stuff on the farm, everything else. But anyway, you have a blessed day.